I'm gonna show you how to do this 10 fold real easy, where it doesn't matter how much hair is on top, you can use the same procedure to complete a, a simple temp fade. We'll line him up, uh, do his beard, just, you know, overall just make him fresh. But the focus today uh, that I want to go over is just how to do this temp fade. I know a lot of people, you know, struggle with this. This is something that they asked me to uh, go over um, just to make it real clean real quick. All right, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to close my wall senior and put this first line in. That's the first thing I'm going to do, real quick. Now a lot of times when there's, when there's afros and things of that nature, hair may be a lot longer, but I do the same procedure no matter what. What I will take is, a two guard, I'll take this two guard, and the first thing I do is, I come down on it. So I would take this, no matter what, how much hair is here, I would take this and I would come down. Because all I'm trying to do is create me a fading zone from here to here. Just fade, it's a fading zone. So if I know here is already going to be skin, a fading zone, just like I would if I was going all the way around ahead. But I'm just using this, this area right here. So from here down. Because then basically all I'm doing is I'm taking a zero to a two in this little area. So imagine taking a zero to a two all the way around the head. A two, the reason why I say up into a two, which is two eighths, the reason why I say that is because a two is dark enough to blend into whatever the length is on top. This could be a five up here. This could be a six up here. It's not gonna matter because a two is dark enough that from a temp, a temp fade perspective, the transition will be there and everything else will be dark. So you don't need to go counting from zero to eight, zero to seven, nothing like that. Just zero to two. A two will get you everywhere you need when it comes to just doing a temp fade. So we're going to fade from a two down. So now that I took the two and I came down, I'm going to grab a one and a half. And do the same thing, just a little bit lower than where I was at with the two. Then I'll turn the clippers around, open it up a little bit. Take this one and a half. Close it. Making sure that when I'm going, at each level I'm going down, I'm using the corner. I'm using like in between here and here. And then when I do the other side, between here and here. Just on an angle with the clippers tilted just a little bit so I don't put any more hard lines in. Then I go from a one and a half to a one. Open it up about halfway. Same technique, same thing. Just a key little nugget, if you need to go higher into a zone, tilt the clippers more on an angle. So from like this, if you have to go higher, the more you tilt it this way, the higher you can go. Because it's not going to cut as much. It'll just snag them little dark hairs that you want. Close it all the way. Same thing. Take it off. Open it up all the way. Same system, different areas, same result. Really quick. Close it halfway. You remember what I put this in with? Just close it all the way. Using the corner. Pretty much done. I'm gonna take an outliner and just tap tap just to finish it off. Same process when you're doing the temp fade, you don't want this hard beard line right here. So what you want to do is open it up halfway, because remember this is closed all the way. 
open it up halfway, go a little bit, open it up all the way, go a little bit more. If that doesn't do it for you, now you can tilt the clippers up. So if the clippers are sitting here like this, you're going to tilt it up so you take less hair off as you go down. Right? So you tilt the clippers up a little bit more. Then after that, you come down on it. And that should take your line out. Just like that. So now you'll have a smooth transition into your beard when you start your line. Most times people make the simple mistake. When we're here like this, most people's blade is angled. You see how that's angled? That's not going to cut anything. That's why people think their lines won't get sharp. But if you straighten the blade all the way and you come down, you'll see the difference. So if I'm like this, I'm not getting anything. But if I come and I angle it even more, I get a whole lot more sharpness to what I'm trying to do. A lot of times it's angles. And then I'll use the corner to do the same thing. Almost like a pencil point, just drawing the line straight down. All right, now as I'm gonna go to his beard line, he wants it high and natural as possible. So first thing I do is I'm gonna stretch it. So I use my thumb, I stretch. I use this finger right here as a brace, stretch, and apply the trimmers. Stretch, brace, apply. All right, see how we did that? Now notice we got a nice crisp line there with no extra spray or none of that. All right, then as we get to the arc, right here, I'm gonna turn my hand over. So I don't recommend doing any of this. If you keep the clippers in your hand like this all the time, what that does is that helps with speed. So now all I'm gonna do is turn it over, turn my wrist all the way over, and then I'm gonna put my finger right here as a brace. And I'm gonna draw a perfect C up to the, to the whole C cup. There we go. Now that we're up here, I'm going to put this brace right here. That's the top. And then all I'm going to do is connect it to it. Finger, brace. You see a whole natural line. Now he's got a natural line, even though his hair is thin up here. So it's very thin. If we want to, we can darken that just to give it some, some definition. That, that's an option. Um, but this is how it should look before you start adding all the extra stuff. I'm gonna comb this through. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb it out. So I comb this out. So. This is how I'm gonna set the sharp line on the box. I'm basically creating a cross. So I'm gonna comb the hair out this way first. Then I'm gonna place the trimmers on it. So if like the trimmers are vertical, I'm gonna comb the, the hairs horizontal, like that, okay? crisp line, easy and done. Now see all of these parts when they're done in sequence with each other, it cuts down on time, real quick. One right to the next. All right, now we're on the other side, as you can see I went and completed the temp fade and all that. But a lot of times I get this question about, okay, as being a left-hander, how do I do the other side? And I tell people it's pretty much the same exact way, just one little difference. So first thing I'm gonna do is 
come down to the bottom, stretch like I did on the other side, brace with my finger, put your first line. So you can see that, right? Same exact thing. Then as I get to the arch, I'll go up here, put the little arch in like I did on the other side, right? You see that? And then all I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm still not doing all this stuff. I'm just gonna turn my turn my arm over, extend this finger to right here, and just draw. See that? So as you can see, I'm just braced and then I'm just drawing. It's not a whole lot of moving around. Like if you watch both my arms, they're kind of still. I'm just drawing it up. But I got that bottom finger as a brace. And once we get up here, same thing. Still braced. We come all the way around. And now we got the line. Now you can go back with one hand. And all you're doing is just touch it up. Tracing what you did. See how we did that? That's the other side. Same thing up top. I'm gonna stretch with my thumb. Place place this like this. And then go right here and tap until I create that line. So now we got that other side line and we got that line. Now we're going to move on to the front. The front, it depends. I would always ask the client, but it depends how they want their front line to look. Just to take off that little brim. I come across. Come across it. Take that little brim off. Alright. I'm spinning around. Come over here. Slow brim. Take it off. But it's still dark enough to where this front line is still there. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower and come down on it just a little bit. And usually, no matter what size, you usually use a one and a half normally. If you need to go a little lower in certain spots because it's thick in some spots and thinner in others, what I then would do is I would take my clip over comb, just so you see a little bit of teeth run through in whatever area you need. All you're trying to get is a little bit. You don't need too much. All right. We're going to take the front line, we're going to start in the middle. Now some people would say, okay, well I see this little bit of hair right here. Now, upon client's request, like we can keep that out, but then it will have that real round shape. And then as you can see, the corners are a little thin. So sometimes, just for uniform purposes, just for making it straight, you have to take a little bit of this front off, so the receding in the corners is not as noticeable. That's just to make everything look as uniform as possible with little damage to the hairline, okay? So it's all about client preference. You explain it to them, you tell them, let them choose, and then you move forward.